today I'm gonna talk about running Android on your Windows 8.1 tablet. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about running Android on your Windows 8.1 tablet. As we all know, these beautiful 8.1 tablets, mine is running Windows 10, build 10,000, uh, It updated really nice and uh, well, this, this uh, video is not about showing you uh, Windows. It uh, also loves to start up in, in the tablet mode. Wait, let me show you that. You see that? So I'm gonna remove it from the tablet mode and then I have to click here two times and then I have my desktop, you see that? And uh, running Android on this uh, tablet is a little bit hard because this thing has only one gigabyte of RAM. And that is the biggest problem of running Android on these things because most of the time you will have to run it virtual. And uh, well, here you can soon see Android booting up. Here it is. And I I already said it how to run Android on uh let me unlock the screen and let's go to all the apps. And here you can see Android running and up. I did install uh, one mobile market because Google Play Store is not in the package. And uh, what am I running here? Well, I'm running <laughs> exactly what I wanted to create or what I wanted to see long time ago when I created the first Win Dry uh, video. Um, and you should check it out. It's been watched a lot of times. And at that time, uh, there was no Windows 8 and something leaked about, you know, Windows gonna get kind of metro things. So, you know, at that time, uh, we, I made a concept called it Windows 8, I think, or Windows 9. And, well, I'm gonna put a link to that video. So you must check that video because that was created in a time when, you know, we didn't know how Windows 8 would look like. And we didn't really know what, you know, the future would be. And also in that video, I removed the, the start menu and then Windows came without start menu after that. So many little things like uh, were, uh, yeah, it's really nice to look back in the past. If you do that, then you will kind of maybe understand that this world isn't that big as it looks. Okay, but um, yeah, by going to the home screen and I'm, I'm just trying to... Let me see where the home. This is this is the Android launch launcher, and this is running Android 4.4.1, I think. Let's take a look at the specifications. About the phone. Of course, it's not a phone; it's a tablet. And I don't know if you if you can read it. Let me read it for you. Uh, it's saying Android version 4.03 and a uh, full Android on Microsoft Windows Pet PC Notebook. You see that? Uh, this thing has only one gigabyte of RAM, so running BlueStacks on this uh, is possible, but you will have to do a hack. And this version of Android that I installed on this tablet, uh, does not need necessarily two gigabytes. Um, you might, because Windows is uh, also Windows 9 or Windows 8.1, is also kind of, yeah, using resources, you know. You could, for instance, um, make from your original Windows 8 CD if you have one, you know, because this is Windows 10 and this is the latest Windows 10 and it's really fantastic. I, 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 sh I sh yeah, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. These boys, they work their ass off at Microsoft to get things ready on time, you know, so big thumbs up for you guys there, you know, only love from the Netherlands, 
you know how it goes I'm 100% there with you so keep working on the beautiful project um, to the tablet makers I want to say please if you make these kinds of great tablets Acer this thing has a quad core but you guys only put one gigabyte of RAM what kind of nonsense is that are you out of RAM I mean like are you out of your mind how can you only put one gigabyte of RAM in a machine that has a quad core processor and 32 gigabyte hard drive you know so if you're also like me and delete all partitions and reinstall uh, the operating system on it then you will find out because of the GPT partition on this thing and the UEFI uh, 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 bias that you cannot install Windows 7 or Linux without doing certain hacks you know that we will not talk about uh, in this video so only thing you can really install on these tablets is Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and probably Windows 10 of course of course Windows 10 because I installed Windows 10 this thing will boot from a bootable US uh, USB with Windows 10 install files on it also 8.1 so I was thinking if you create a light version of Windows 8.1 you must have a legal version to do that you know so if you make a light version with um, with with N light or V light, what is it? There is some, there are some apps out there to create a custom bootable uh, Windows 8.1 installer that is only 700 and something megabytes. You can burn it on a CD. It's out there, and uh, I made one myself as well that I will install on this tablet uh, just to see if I can let my Android run even faster that's just for the project because this thing will get Windows 10 again after that so um, I'm not uh, here to uh, tell you that I'm gonna delete Windows 10 absolutely not what I'm trying to do and that is because of Acer the lack of, of, of putting RAM in this machine of Acer you know because they were so 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 stupid to put only one gigabyte of RAM you know, you guys must really think, man, you cannot make a tablet with one gigabyte of RAM and, and then put a quad core processor in it. What kind of stupidness is that? If this thing had two gigabytes or even four gigabytes of RAM, then it would not be hard. Then we could run any operating system virtual beside Windows 8.1. So uh, I'm going to put the file of uh, this particular version of Android. It's 80 megabytes. I will put it uh, the link for you guys so you can download it. Uh, please download it, um, install it, and after you install it, uh, you will be able to run it. And in my next video, of course, uh, I will uh, show you how to let BlueStacks. You know that's a, another another version of Android that you can also run on top of Windows. Uh, how we can let BlueStack run with less than 2 gigabytes of memory uh, not knowing if it will you know really uh, be running good so we'll have to test that but I can confirm that this version of Android uh, is is running pretty pretty good pretty decent and uh, in fact this is the home screen you see that I really not such a big fan of these home screens. I rather have, um, yeah, some iOS home skin. But I found out that uh, it was hard to install another uh, home screen because, in some way, it was not going. I was getting errors, and I installed the home screen here. Uh, it's called Seven Home Screen. I'm gonna run it, and then. You know, it loads for a long time. But it's not bringing up the icons. You see? So, um, yeah, if I hit, hit home again, then I will get in the original launcher. And this is Android 4, peeps. Uh, runs nice. You can run WhatsApp. And I think you could also run WhatsApp from the Windows Store. I'm not sure. So but this would also run on uh, windows 7 and windows 8 and windows 10 so i hope this uh, explained a bit uh, about running android on 
a tablet with only one gigabyte of memory running Windows 8.1 or higher. Uh, so if this video helped you out a bit, you know, if you can run Android now on your tablet, your Windows tablet, and everything went right, then of course you must hit this video like and if you want to see more videos that I create, of course you must subscribe to my channel. Peeps, thanks again for watching. I wish you all a fantastic week. It's Monday today, so a beautiful week for you all there. Make something of it and leave me a comment. Till my next video.